Do you realize how key a needle is in a sewing machine? If you have any problems whatsoever, a skip stitch, a thread break, change your needle. Pretty much it's your first line of defense. You do have a ton of needles that come with this machine, but you do need to match up size with your fabric. The, so a bigger size will make a bigger hole, a smaller, thinner fabric will require a smaller needle. But also keep in mind that needle sizes much, must also be uh, matched to the thickness of thread. So if you have a thicker thread, you do need a bigger needle. Now we do have a ton of needle information up in our playlist. So if you click on that little eye popping out of the top right corner of your screen, that will take you to all of our needle information and you can identify some of the cool needles that came with this machine, like a wing needle, a stretch needle, jeans needles, and etc. And which needles are right for which projects. So here is how to change a needle. We can also use the multi-purpose tool that came with our machine slide that up the needle so when you loosen the needle it doesn't fall into the machine and you can easily catch it which vice versa means that when you go to put it or insert it back up into the machine that that will actually come down or make it go up easier so see that little flat side on the back that hole holds it perfectly when i go to put it in so it's key that a new needle is put in and kept in there. You can just slide that up. A, a note about the screw that you're tightening. Yes, you have a screwdriver to tighten it, but that doesn't mean you go really, really tight. You just need to give it a nice little tweak, but not over tighten it. I know that's a happy medium, but you just wanna make sure that of course the needle doesn't fall out, but you need it um, tight enough <laughs> that it's, everybody stays in there. So keep that in mind. Don't use all your force when you turn your screwdriver when tightening up for a new needle that you've just put in.